Hey, what's going on, guys? It's David Thompson. I'm, uh, I'm representing Raw Energetics. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the Anunnaki. I don't know if you ever heard the word Anunnaki. There was a race of beings coming from a planet called uh, Nuburu. And um, here we, we call it Planet X. It's behind Pluto. In 1983, it was published in the news and on, uh, you know, in the news on TV. Then, right after that, they took it off, and you never hear anything about it. But, you can type it in and see it for yourself. <clears throat> it's an actual planet. So this is where the Anunnaki came from. And why did they come from there and come to Earth? They came from there because they, had, they was having a problem with their ozone layer. They need to find a planet that had the resources that they could replenish their ozone there. So they came to Earth because they wanted to use the gold on Earth to fix their atmosphere. How? I have no idea. But um, the commander, his name is Anu, he had two sons. One was named Inki, his firstborn. And the other was named Enlil. He sent Enki down to Earth first. He went down there with the ship. He landed in the water. Um, there's all evidence of this. This is all coming from texts, like ancient texts, Sumerian, Babylonian, and Egyptian texts before it was diluted by Bibles of all kinds. All right. So Enki came down, and he found out that there was gold. But then after a while, him, his brother came down also, and they started to work. And then they found out that uh, they needed help. So they created us out of the men, or out of the, the creature that was already there. If it was cavemen or monkeys, whatever. They put their genes in, in those uh, creatures. And after a, a whole bunch of trial and error came humans and it shows it on the Egyptian walls like it shows it many times they failed they failed and finally they got it right um, I'm not sure if it was like real gene splicing or with just the females having sex but it did show the females presenting this new creature called the human being so we was created just to work in these conditions and uh, serve them years and years later one of the Anunnaki females they, she dove down and had sex with a regular man and they gave birth to a man called uh, Galgamesh and she uh, anointed him to be king because any demigod was king back in those days those were the first kings of course so Galgamesh he wondered why was he on earth aging once he got to a certain age he was like I want to go up to the, the heavens and be with my other half, my mother, and not age. So he went to Eden, because Eden was a command center for them, where they could communicate back to Anu, the commander. And he ended up trying to, he got into the rocket ship, He went up, but here's here's some text. It says, "This is what Galgamesh described." Tell me what this sounds like, okay? He was going towards the uh, the stairway to heaven, right? He said, "The vision that I saw was the holy awesome. The heaven shrunk." The planet boomed. Through daylight was dawning 
darkness came. Lightning flashed. A flame shot up. The clouds uh, swallowed. It rained death. Then the glow vanished. The fire went out and all that had fallen was turned to ashes. Now if that doesn't sound like a rocket ship and the smoke, I don't know what does, okay? Now like I said, these beams were swooping down and fornicating. Uh, this was also in the Bible. This is in Genesis chapter six, verse one through two, okay? Look this up. This is what it says. And it came to pass when the earthlings began to increase in numbers upon the earth, the daughters were born unto them, that the sons of the Elohim saw the daughters of the Adam, that they were uh, compatible. And they took unto these wives, unto themselves wives, of whichever they choose. Okay. Now let's go back. Right? He says that the sons of the Elohim saw the daughters of the Adam. The Adam. That they were capable the sons of the Adam, not Adam, one person. Adam, the Adam was the name of like saying the man. Then it goes on saying, the Nephilim were on the earth in these days and thereafter too. When the son of the Elohim came unto the daughters of the Adam, and had children by them. Okay. Now let's go to Ezekiel. A lot of people know of the prophet Ezekiel. Let me, um, okay. The prophet's opening statement is usually translated Visions of God. The term, um, Elohim, which is plural, has been traditionally translated God in the singular, even when the Bible itself clearly treats it in the plural as an, an Elohim says, let us fashion the Adam in our image and after our likeness. This is Genesis chapter 1. Verse 26. Okay. See, but the tale of Adam comes from the Sumerians and the Egyptians. The, uh, it's the, the creation text, that's what they call it, right? Okay, so the Anunnaki team, led by Enki, that used genetic engineering to fashion the Adam. The term Anunnaki, I mean the term Elohim, we have shown over and over again for the reference to the Anunnaki. Um, Ezekiel was trying to report that he seen an Anunnaki uh, craft because he, he gives a description of the craft. He says he sees like a gust of wind and uh, like lights shining and flashing uh, sounds like a spacecraft and it, and it came down. I don't think that God needs a gust of wind and shining lights and, and things.
Do you know what the cross symbolizes? The cross symbolizes the cross symbolizes uh, the guru because the uh, the guru is the planet that crosses crosses our orbit and back to Abraham when he was uh, uh, leaving Sodom and Gomorrah before it was destroyed somebody stopped and asked him what was your name and he said my name's Hebrew and uh, scholars now they think that in translation in in his tongue his native tongue that meant to cross or the cross either they can't figure out if they, he was trying to say he just crossed the river or was he talking in reference to the boo? That's up for you. And also in these ancient texts, there was the prophecy of the return of a Messiah. Now this is way before any Bible. It's way before all of that. Like it goes deep, 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 you know, but it's all on timelines. So let's put some things together before I close this out, right? So Enki and Enlil is kind of the God and the devil concept that we're holding today. Now, let's, let's throw this out here. All right. Enki is the ram, Aries. Enlil is the Taurus the ball, the ball in Wall Street, the Taurus of Wall Street, all right? And then, then there's also another mythical character called Minotaurus. Or, uh, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, Minotaurus, the man who chased down the, uh, the bull and killed him, right? And he he embodies um, the same characteristics as Enlil. He had to step on people to get ahead. Enlil did not like human beings at all. Like Enki was like our savior. He was our protector. He was like the, the God in the Bible, you know? And um, to go with that, Ra was Enki's son his first son. After time passed, Ra become on earth, he became noticed as the number one God. He surprised Anu, even though in all reality that didn't happen, it was just for us on earth, because he supported us a lot. He cared for the humankind. He had problems with uh, his brothers, especially Enlil, and I think Thoth also. So yeah, you definitely got to look into your history so you can see how things are being uh, changed up so they can dictate how we live here and today. Because if you look around, there's sun signs everywhere that represents Ra. You know? And then there's, uh, there's crosses everywhere that goes with their home planet. But we say it's something else. And now we're still waiting on the return of this planet to come back in our orbit, which it will without a doubt. Like this is just, this is facts. What's going to happen when it returns? Last time it was over here, they came. So I just came here to say this to you guys. Um, it's just some food for thought. You know, take it with a grain of salt. You know, um, please let me know if you have any more information or you want me to say more on this subject. Thank you guys for watching. Check out the website, Ra-Energetics. Um, thumbs up or thumbs down. Share this video. And please subscribe to my page. Thank you. See you on the next video.